All right, I wanted to get into this while I got a little bit of time sitting here. Um, I find it awkward, but this is just something that I had thought about um, recently. Y'all ever notice how when people are getting out of relationships or they just got out of their relationship or whatever, they, they use the word free, right? Like, and I believe that a subconscious mind of most of ours is that we feel like when we're in a relationship, we like, you know, on, on lockdown or in slavery, if you will, you know what I'm saying? Because I equate the word freedom to slavery in a lot of different instances, and it can be used in this one as well. So if your situation is one that is with a person who you feel like is um trying to control you or or um make you do things that you wouldn't normally do or anything like that you know what i mean like that's not the right relationship to be in also if you are a person who does these types of things and makes a person feel like yeah you know uh they gotta do what I say, when I say, how I say, or, you know, this ain't going to work, uh, or I'm going to have to do this to make them do what I want them to do, or I'm going to have to do that, so forth and so on. I'm I'm really getting this, this real strong feeling that this could be the reason that a lot of relationships fail, or this could be part of the reason that a lot of relationships fail. Um, when you think about what people require from you while in a relationship with them, an exclusive relationship, because these open relationships are just fucking weird to me. That's not something that I'm going to indulge in. But when you talk about that in, in, in what is considered an exclusive relationship, then it tends to, uh, pose a bit of an issue. Um, I guess my advice would be to not be so possessive maybe that's the word um to an extent it's cool because you know you care for a person you want that person you know to yourself and everything like that which is perfectly fine i don't have no issue with that but when it gets to a point of you can't do this because i said so or you can't do that because i said so then it poses an issue um i feel like both parties should be willing to compromise whatever different instances that would cause an issue within their relationship with each other and an, another issue that comes along with that is people don't talk they don't communicate and if they do then it's bullshit for the most part telling half truths and whole lies um when when i say that i mean um you don't give a person everything whatever issue that you may have you don't say it how you mean it you you sugarcoat it and that's an issue because you're so nervous or or, or scared of pissing a person off or having a deep conversation that may turn into an argument fuck all that you gotta have the hard conversations in order for your relationships to work if you do not do that then nine times out of ten your relationship isn't going to work because the foundation is built on bullshit and you can't have a relationship with foundation built on bullshit it doesn't work it never will it never has because everybody's lying in this instance and everybody thinks that they're right and everybody wants to be that person that is you know the right or in the right in these situations but y'all really got to think about this shit in relationships it, it fuck the right and the wrong it's it's the compromise coming to an understanding with the person that it is that you're with so you don't feel like well this person has this hold on me to where i feel like i'm i like like it's entrapment and it shouldn't feel like fucking entrapment god damn it's a lot of mexicans just got out of that motherfucking car I'm talking about bullshit, you not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them motherfuckers just jumped out that bitch. How the fuck do they do it? That's neither here nor there. Anyway, my bad. Um, 
Look. <laughs> yeah, entrapment. That's that's what that is, and you shouldn't feel like it's entrapping. There's a compromise to where you can feel like a free human being, regardless of what happens in your life. You can feel like a free human being in a relationship. Once you start feeling like this person is controlling you and your life, not not them helping you be a better person or or, or something like that, because that's very important. You know, you should you should feel like a person is helping you become a better person. Unless of course you're just a fucked up individual and you don't want to be a better person, then this conversation ain't for you. But if you're with a person and you want to be a better person and this person brings out the best in you, but at the same time you feel like they're controlling you, then a part of this issue is yours. You have to be willing to come out and say, I have an issue with this. I have an issue with that. This is the, a better way to handle me. This is a better way to love me. And I'm glad I used that word handle. Another reason, because now we're getting off into something else, but it still coincides with the original thought process. Once you talk about um, relationships and people that have dealt with exes uh, and whatnot, a uh, um, uh, uh, part that plays a role in this is when your significant other or person that you would like to be your significant other starts to handle you the same way that they handled their last person when you're not that person. Same thing, vice versa. If you are the person in that situation and you're handling this new person that you want to be with like the last person, then you failed. You're not supposed to do that. You can't do that. Every person is their own human being. There may, there may be some similarities here and there, but at the same time, there is not, there's no person that is exactly alike. Even twins have differences. So in knowing that, you cannot handle two people the exact same way and expect to get a different outcome. It don't work like that. That's not how life works. So people need to come to the realization that when you're with a person doing different things different ways is what gonna set you apart in their eyes and, and everybody else really when you really think about it. So don't be with somebody for one who is not gonna better you, somebody who is making you feel like they're controlling you and y'all can't come to some type of agreement compromise that benefits you both for you to grow together as a human being because it's always this I, my stuff. Like, it's no longer just you. You're with a person. You have to take that person to, into consideration. And if you're not the type of person to take a person into consideration, then everything that I just said is null and void. All right, so y'all really got to get y'all shit together at this point. Make sure you know what it is that you're getting into. Be a better person so you can treat people better and you won't have this problem with either treating people like they're slaves and or feeling like you're a fucking slave. Do you feel me? If you don't, that's your problem. Shoot the messenger. Peace. Yeah. 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 Never grind, yeah, yeah, 365 grind, thugging on, yeah, yeah.